Hey, what's up? So, um, this video, I'm gonna kind of be taking a minor break from the bottom end, uh, mainly. So, the bottom end is practically done, uh, and it's pretty much ready for the head. Uh, the only problem is, is that the head is still in pieces, so I need to start working on that. Yeah, so I've already cleaned up the retainers and keepers. Uh, basically what I need to do now is I need to uh, lap some of the valves because uh, some of them look a little gross. Uh, put that there for a second. Found a really nice uh, Ford valve cover. It's exciting. I'm not going to be putting the the stock springs back in. I'm going to do what all the Miata guys do and go with the um, the Volvo springs. They're a little bit stiffer. I'm not really going to be revving much higher, but I figure they will be good for uh, it'd be a good idea to go with them for forced induction. Alright, so if you look at the uh, exhaust port and the exhaust valve seat, you can see where it's not exactly very shiny anymore and it's not very, you know, and I feel it's kind of, it's kind of jagged, you know, I uh, just realized I'm, my mouth is like, the mic's like inside my mouth, <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's kind of jagged, but, I mean, that, that would probably seal, but while it's apart, you might as well take some time and clean that up. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your valve, uh, you're going to apply some compound to the seat and to the, um, the mating surface on the valve, and uh, you want to put it into the head, and then on the stem that's sticking out the back side of the head, you're going to attach your piece of rubber hose, and then attach that rubber hose to your drill, and then uh, you can spin the valve. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lubricate the stem just a little bit because we're going to be spinning it and I don't want to mar the surface. And we will take a little bit of compound. It doesn't take a whole lot. Matter of fact, the least you use, the better. I'm just going to apply it to the edge there. Insert the valve. Before I put the drill on, I'm just going to spin this by hand to uh, kind of spread that compound around. So basically, what that compound is, it's just it's a really coarse. Uh, it's almost like a rubbing compound, but it's like you can almost you know you can hear that. It's, it's a super coarse, abrasive compound. All right, so I'm basically just going to take my drill with my little piece of rubber hose this will slide over the uh, the stem make sure that you know I have a zip tie on here to make this a little more snug uh, make sure that you know um, you're not gonna have anything protruding off the hose it's going to scratch the lifter uh, the lifter bore that slides on like that I'm kind of pulsating the pressure. Um, that's just to kind of allow the compound to spread more evenly. And if you pay attention to the way it sounds, you can hear it as that grittiness kind of, uh, that gritty sound kind of slowly, slowly dissipates. Pull the drill off the bit, or off the stem. There we go. The 
you see that very smooth, uh, very, very smooth, very, uh, very even cut that's on there now compared to, you know, if you compare it to the one that hasn't been done yet, kind of, yeah, not horrible, but ultimately this is the the look you want. And when we look at the head. Also, you want to make sure that when you're done doing this, you want to douse everything, brake cleaner, very thoroughly. Make sure you get all the stuff out because, like I said, this is a abrasive compound, and you don't want this inside your engine. Right, but there, you, know, you can kind of see the comparison between the uh, two valve seats. One down, 15 more to go. So this is a fucking nightmare. All right, so fuck this. <laughs> 